Hello, Central Illinois. Tonight, the fastest night of the spring in Bloomington Normal. The inner city boys and girls track meets will start girls first and will start not with track, but in field. Bloomington Central Catholics Michaela Albrecht wins the high jump. Normal U High had a great meet and a bar right here wins the 100 hurdles for the Pioneers. A photo finish in the 100. U High's Reese Mitchell just beats Normal's Jasmine West. Normal Community's Jasmine West. By five one hundredths of a second, Mitchell, your winner. Meanwhile, Normal Community's Allie Ince uh, put on a show. She won the 800. She won the 400. She came back and won the 1600 and also anchored the winning 4x4 four four relay. Normal Community is your team champ. A remarkable night for Allie Ince. On the boys' side, a remarkable night for another Normal Community standout. Alex Son wins both the shot put and the discus. Check out this shot. He almost, he throws it off the backboard. we got to get a bigger place for this dude. What a performance by the University of Illinois recruit. Adam Beasley of Bloomington anchored two relay wins for Bloomington and here wins the long jump for Bloomington. Big night for Amari Harris. He pulls off the triple sprints, wins the 100, 200, and 400, and was on the 4x1. And Normal West Elijah Campman is your hurdles champion in both hurdles events. Normal Community is your team champion. All right, to high school softball now in the big red machine of Metamora. Keeps on rolling. Their winners today at Dunlap. Manny Mooney and the Redbirds in command of this game. They break it open with a big eight run any Kitty Ramage right here drives in Kennedy Knee. Knee, the leadoff hitter, has been doing her job getting on base, scoring runs. Kerrigan Hartnett then will drive in Cadence Hill, and Metamore is driving home with a 10 run win. They win it 11 to 1. The game of the day in the middle line eye. It was Pekin, Skip Penning's Pekin Dragons against East Peoria. Pekin would rally Haley Irby a base hit right here to tie the game, then they would take the lead. And check out Brogan Hall. She got a a lot of big outs. The last one here, Emily Matthews to play at short staff. You think Pekin's excited about beating East Peoria? You bet they are. Pekin has beat both East Peoria and Metamora this year. How about them Dragons? To Big 12 Baseball Normal Community sweeps a double hitter today with Peoria High. Big Brady Benson on the mound was terrific. Meanwhile, Owen Cavanaugh is going to drive in Riley Hendren. It's two wins today for the Ironmen. Normal West across town taking on another Peoria school. They were taking on Peoria Richwoods and they were Going extra bases, Will Strell hits one for a double right here down the left field line. Then Jake Morrill is going to give this ball a ride to the wall in right center for a triple. Cooper Temples is coming home to score, and Normal West beats Richwoods by a final score of 10-5. to To soccer, Peoria Notre Dame hosting Champaign Central. Maya Wardle on an electric run down the field right here for the Irish. She's going to center the ball at the far post. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Sophia's there. Sophia Russo knocks it in the empty net for the goal. Nice job by Wardle and Sophia. Later, Claire Gerard to Wardle and watch Wardle the cutback and the finish for Maya, and she's far from finished. Moments later, watch Wardle beat a double team, splits two, and then just takes her time. The patience of a sniper scores the goal right there, and Sophia Russo is going to match her with two goals. She calls bank shot. Oh, pretty. <laughs> the Irish are winners. Five zip. Middle line eye leader Morton at East Peoria. You want to see pretty Sophia Davila on the corner kick, and she's going to bend it like Sophia. Right in the net for the goal by Davila. A beautiful goal right there for the Potters. Later, it's going to be Edie Hart to Molly Shook, and Molly settles, shoots, a little chip shot. Well done by Molly Shook. The Potters shook him up and won the game by a score of eight. Zip. Tennis, anyone? Dunlap at Morton today in a big showdown in the middle line. I, Alex Fay, Dunlap's number one, is going to come to the net for the big overhand smash. But Carter Kendall of Morton wins that number one singles match. Watch Kendall right here with the blistering backhand winner right there. Gorgeous shot by Kendall. But Dunlap wins the overall team match 5-4. Some great play here at the net by Graham O'Leary. And Dunlap wins a very entertaining match today, 5-4 Eagles. From Morton High State champ to Illini Big Ten champ to Team USA, that's the cool story of Tommy Cool. Today, the Illini standout is named to Team USA to compete in the annual Arnold Palmer Cup golf tournament. Only 12 U.S. men players will compete in the Ryder Cup-like event in Pennsylvania in June. Congrats to Tommy. Red, white, orange, and blue. The ISP.